a commenter asked a question along the lines of, will smoking marijuana, drinking caffeine, or using other substances slow down the awakening process? I hear this question in various forms pretty frequently, so I thought I would make a video to address this issue. Generally speaking, I would tell people, don't worry about it. Don't struggle with these concerns and just focus your attention on awakening. Focus your attention on the deepest promptings of your heart. Focus your attention on investigating the nature of unfiltered reality, which means reality not filtered by your mind, which imposes the illusions of space, time, doership, struggle, onto reality. Just see what's there. Keep inquiring, keep digging in, meditate. Watch non-duality videos if it's helpful to you. But to spend too much of your energy and attention distracted with the belief that, well, until I stop smoking pot or stop doing XYZ habit, whatever it is, I can't wake up or I won't wake up. That's just a foothold for your mind to get your attention. And once it has your attention, it'll lead you down a series of thoughts and beliefs self-criticism, self-doubt, then a lot of strategies to try to fix this problem that doesn't actually exist. So instead of looking at what you think you need to change to wake up, which is nothing, look at what's already awake. Look at what's already here. Look at what you don't have to find because it's already the case. Look there. Start with the sense of I, the sense of you being aware right now. Not the thought of I, not the image of I. Not any thought about yourself or a narrative. Not any thought about spirituality or something you've learned, concepts, etc. Just the pure sense of what you are right now, taking this in. Start there. Because that is undeniable, right? Whereas Whereas the question of, do I have to stop smoking pot, stop drinking caffeine, stop using nicotine to wake up, will become philosophical. It will become a mental distraction very quickly, and it won't solve anything. You'll never find the answer to that. So let's look at what is here. Let's look at what's real, what's important. What is your deepest yearning? What is your most prominent and burning question about yourself about life about reality is it how do i end suffering or why do i suffer is it why do i feel enclosed in a mind space and feel like i'm distant from reality why do i feel distant from those around me even when i'm emotionally close these are the kinds of questions to look into penetrate these layers of delusion why do i think i have to control the external world to be at peace, including habits, behaviors. Why do I believe that? Because I don't believe that peace is already here. So let's start by looking at what is already here. Start with that pure sense of being, consciousness, I, just the sense. And then investigate the nature of the senses themselves. What is the nature of sound, indirect experience? Does it have an edge, a boundary? What about it is completely obvious and undoubtable? Just listen. So you're much better off attuning to what is immediately available than to what may or may not be available, which is to completely stop a certain habit right now in your life. That may be available and it may not be, but the mind loves these kinds of forks. It loves to put you in this place where you have to make a decision. You have to think more. You have to solve the problem of you and your life. Awakening is to wake up from having to do that at all. So for now, just relax. Don't struggle with your habits unless they're acutely destructive. In that case, I recommend getting help of some sort. But habits like smoking pot, occasional drinking, smoking cigarettes, using caffeine, shopping, pornography, whatever the habits are, just leave them alone for now. 
Don't add struggle to the addiction energy because it will just become more distraction. Look at what is here. Look into what is already calling you in, calling you into presence, calling you into unfiltered reality. Inquire, meditate, work on awakening, and these other things will solve themselves over time. Usually these habits like smoking marijuana, drinking alcohol, fall away as awakening progresses. It may take some time, but at some point you'll lose interest because ultimately they're used as distractions. So don't add a distraction to it by distracting yourself with struggling against it. Just turn toward truth, which is right here at all times. Another way of saying this is nothing you can do is going to prevent awakening. You don't have that power. What causes awakening is fully beyond the human dimension. You don't have the choice you think you do about rearranging life circumstances to wake up. All you can do is learn to surrender more and more and inquire into what's real. And then reality will do the rest. So you can't align everything just the right way to wake up. It doesn't work that way. You can just keep inquiring into and letting go of identity structures. Being vulnerable, open, honest about what's real right now and let the chips fall where they may. Reality will take care of everything. It'll tap you on the shoulder whenever it wants to. It doesn't wait till your life conditions are exactly the way you think they should be to wake up. It doesn't operate on any human agenda. It doesn't judge right or wrong. It doesn't have a moral tone. It's pure grace. Grace means realization is undeserved. So open to it, orient to it, relinquish control. Let what is right in front of your face wake you up.